Okay, six 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 ten. Chris Codius is not available. He's having a problem getting a flight back from a work posting, and so um, I guess I'll chair the meeting. Any adjustments to the select board agenda? Okay. Uh, we're approving the bills. And, oh, here the minutes. Any public comment? I would like to request a moment of silence Ooh. for one of our long-term residents that passed away. Mm. And she was the town clerk, and she was also an auditor that I know of right now. i got to do research on it. And that's Lenora Thompson. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Sure. Mm, that's She was an auditor back in the day when every penny was counted. She was the chair auditor when I audited back in 1984. Yeah. Oh. She's the one that taught me to audit. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know she was sick. How old was she? Um, late 80s. Hmm. Great painter, too. Yes. Oh, yeah. Everybody probably asked a piece, right? Yeah. I have many. Yeah. I have many. Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. Yeah. Skip? Also, she was the 911 coordinator. Oh, that's right. The first 911 coordinator. Yeah. yeah. She was. Mm. And she assigned actual persons' names to the available structures. Uh huh. Which. Which I don't. You know. <laughs> yeah, to <laughs> take those off. Yeah, she probably knew where everybody lived, so that made it. <laughs> yeah. When did that happen? Did that recently? November seventh. Oh, so a week ago. Mm. We used to see a cross country skiing up at her place. Yes. Yeah. And she was working at the golf course this summer. I know she talked mm. to Ron a couple of times. Mm hmm. Okay. Anything else before we get to the town clerk's report? Okay. Town clerk's report. I have got Radio North. Oh, great. I wondered what, I couldn't figure Paul out what happened Sarudi to that. had brought it into me. It was originally mailed to Paul and Norm. Yeah. At the fire department. Right. And he brought it into me and I had called Chris for him to come in and sign it. Okay. So I, I don't found know. a note to that effect that he if had. Um, one of you ones going to sign it so we, we can, can I'll it. fax it off tomorrow. Thank you. Because when uh, John Gordon sent an email today saying that um, he didn't know what happened to it and I didn't know what happened to it and I could find the where um, it had been delivered by Paul to Paul by accident and he brought it to you and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, thank you for digging that out. And when you just one signature is good. You want you can sign it too if you want, but uh. Sure. Do you want me to also email a copy of that to John? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. And to me, I'd like to have one too. Yeah. I can put all the, I was going to say all the fire members. <laughs> all the select board on there too. Okay. 
and I have been receiving on a regular basis appropriations for this come and tell meeting. Oh, great. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of those in so far. I'm sorry, can, what did we just sign? Was it a contract or was it a proposal? This is a quotation. Quotation. And for, how much was it for? It is for a grand total of $3,973. I think that's pretty much what we had expected. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And recordings are still coming in on a regular basis. And other than that, I don't think I have any. Oh, the transportation had sent a reminder that Route 14 will be closed November 21st through the 22nd because they're replacing another culvert in East Callis. Well, yeah, but that's the one that they've already got signed up for that. Well, they had sent me this email. So. Okay, okay. Yeah, and I yep. um, heard from uh, ask, uh, Adam to, today what the status was, and he said that um, uh, the contract has been let, SD Ireland, and they're going to start on the 27th out here. Of November? Yeah. And that's a definite? No, well, that's what he said. Oh, wow. When is yours 21st through the 22nd? 22nd. That's de and is so that is down by? Tuesday and Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And the 27th oh. is right here. Okay. And the 27th is what now? It's when they're going to start this big project out here. And I think that's all I have. Does that mean we would use the old quarry road? No, well, you can if you want, uh, but they're going to set up a light. Okay, one. So people, you know, that okay. probably shouldn't have to wait more than, I would think, three or four minutes, but of course it depends how many people are in line. <laughs> I guess. Although with a light, I guess it's timed. It doesn't probably matter how many people are in line, does it? I thought they were making a <laughs> secondary road, Diana. Yeah, but there's still, it's only going to be one way, one lane. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the old quarry road is not going to be in use? You can, uh, you can. You can use it, yeah. you know, if you want to, it's still very narrow. Yeah. It's been uh, graded, but okay. you don't want to meet graded. anybody. It's very drivable. Yeah. <laughs> if you're the only car. Yeah. And, and you have a truck. <laughs> no, I've been up it with my car, yeah. too. <laughs> but I don't like to meet anybody. It's a little narrow. Mm -hmm. But you can also go up around here if people don't want to wait. But mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, it's not very long wait. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. I think that's all I have. Randy? So reports you have balance sheet financial statement due to do from over the last three weeks uh, cash receipts you took in eight hundred fifty thousand eight hundred twenty one dollars and thirty five cents mm -hmm. um, current property taxes delinquent taxes copies school insurance recording vault zoning etc. Mm -hmm. uh, payroll sixteen thousand six hundred twenty nine dollars and seventy four cents accounts payable Two million one hundred and sixteen thousand nine hundred fifty-two dollars and forty-nine cents. Say that again. Two million. Two million one hundred sixteen thousand mm -hmm. nine hundred fifty-two dollars and forty-nine cents. And that is because you paid the school. That is because I cut the school check. Yes. Yeah. Um, I transferred um, eight hundred ninety thousand from the checking over into the money market. Um, so we're going to backtrack a little bit. Um, the fuel contract, it was never signed the night we approved it. Oh. So if we can get, I can get a signature on that. Go ahead, sir. Um, this came in with a tax bill. And, um, normally I get a smiley face sometimes, but that wasn't a smiley face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was it? Say, thank you. Hmm, I think it works by the day. Oh. I think it's sarcastic. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> For a minute I was like, oh, that's so nice. No. Um. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Moving on. No comment. <laughs> Mm. Um, so, annual contract with our town report. I took on a two-year contract, mm. reducing um, our cost by much. And that was... And it's through Repo, who we've done the last few years, mm -hmm. and we're very happy. John Reed is very happy mm -hmm. with him. So I did sign a two-year contract with him. Uh, the LCT update about the office claim. Um, I will read it and then I will hand it over to you guys to just review. So at this at this point, um, I can issue payment of 80% of the building damages and once we have the quotes to review, we can pay the difference. I can issue the full amount of content loss. This breakdown... Jason, um, when you say I can issue, you mean... The person who's writing that? Who's doing our claim, taking who's, care of our claim. Okay, she's saying that. Um, so there, there's just a couple things he wanted um, answered today. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, so it's still in the play. Um, so there may be, I don't want to say the money amount unless it goes up or down or... Mm -hmm. But um, that's where we're at with that. So mm -hmm. it's not finalized through BLCT yet. Other things. When it is, you'll send us a oh, yes. copy? Yeah. Or make sure that you guys are happy with what they have. Mm -hmm. um, and then skip is whatever is left over and or the, the deductible. Then the FEMA team will we'll take over. <laughs> Um, wearing a different hat as the delinquent tax collector, um, my warrant to myself, um, $186,031.95 um, that went delinquent. You can play that one out. <laughs> um, health insurance, um, they're wanting new, new to sign the new contracts. Uh, MVP is going up, um, so I did get a quote from Blue Cross Blue Shield also, um, that was more expensive, but we can do that when hopefully we have a couple extra meetings for budgeting, mm -hmm. and I would love for you guys to have an extra meeting to finish the personnel policy, <laughs> please. An extra so meeting is not at a regular meeting. I know, right? We can't, we can't. Because it's been dragging. I know. Yeah. yeah. So, um, where I know that some things are going to come up um, about employees that want change, and I'm not changing until that policy is changed. Mm -hmm. so. Huh. so, they're asking for and different benefits be or? Um, I'm not going to speak on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's just, yeah. um, I'm not budging unless, and it's not going to be, it's not fair to who comes into office either, mm -hmm. saying, oh yeah, you get to do that because whatever, you don't have to stick to the policy. Mm. And I am sticking to the policy. Because mm. as of right now, we only got one meeting in December. You're kidding Because the me. second yes. one would be Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So well, we, we could always juggle that. that. So yeah. we got to do the week before. Well, um, we go into mm -hmm. the new year with a fresh new employee policy. That'd be good, right? It would be awesome. Well, we get. I mean, I yeah. I think we should have a couple of budget meetings in December. They don't have to be at our regular meetings, but uh, mm -hmm. they can be. Um, yeah, other times we'll arrange it when it fits Chris's schedule. Brandy, do you? Want to talk about this a little bit more right now? Uh, no, I just wanted to update you. Okay. Can I take Those a look? are the numbers yes. we're looking at right now. Um, but again, he wanted some questions answered about the basement. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So hopefully, I'll be getting money soon. If it's There's not no all of it, it'll just be the eighty percent until everything's finalized. Got he it. did ask if we had um, ordered or had cleaners come in. So. I'd like to jump on the gun for that one. Okay, I will get hold of um, 
The Williams Hall guy? And Hardwick. I can see the logo, but I can't. Paul Davis. Paul yeah. Davis, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll call them tomorrow. So, the, uh, so hmm, this looks... This doesn't look like very much compared to the last one I saw. It is actually more than the last one. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm, here's another one. Yeah, a little more. Hmm. Okay. You want to give this back to her? Mm -hmm. You guys can keep it if you want to. Okay. Right. I have... I have on my email. Um, yeah. If I have anything more, and I can forward you. Yeah, if you could send me that, that would be good. Um, so, yes, yeah, the budgeting, the um, health insurance will be in there before I sign this and get it back to them. But they want this as of December 1st. Um, who who wants? MVP to sign a new contract oh. for health insurance. Where they're going to have to pay more, we're going to have to pay more. So, yeah. It's. Um, We'll review that then. Other goodies? Other goodies? Yeah, money's really slowed down. <laughs> mm, <laughs> I no. wish it hadn't. Um, yeah. So I have to then decide if, um, about another tax sale. How um, does the delinquency compared to last year? What went? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. I have not, I didn't look back on that. Okay. Just be interesting to see how, you know, economically things are going for people. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, we both get to sign this one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yep. Okay. All right. Can so I just like take a time out and just go peek at? Oh, door? please, okay. yeah. Okay. Right back. Hello. <laughs> <coughs> mm. Oh, let's see. Is that kid tongue stuck to the wall? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Old movies, interesting. <laughs> mm. I can remember the name of the kid who did that when I was walking to Brook Street School back in the day, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> He's probably still alive. <laughs> Is it Mike McGlynn? No. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> mm. Oh. Mm. How much snow is there? Uh, dusting at this point. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't supposed to go to the truck without telling me first, but oh. of course he yeah. didn't. Yeah. So he's in the, in the truck? Yes. Okay, that's probably best. As long as he doesn't have the keys. Uh, actually, he does. <laughs> but he well, won't. He okay. Won't he's he's <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I guess we're going to skip right over <laughs> Mr. Larrabee and... Uh, Hear from Skip Lindsay. Okay. So on the agenda, I believe there are one, two, three, four, four items, and those four items are approved or not the purchase of this radar speed sign. So in the handout, I think you have uh, Lizzie and Diane right in front of you. They dropped off. Oh. I found out. And I'm going to here as well. Is it same as this one? This one? Yeah. Okay. Over here. So oh, if you look at my email date is November 8th, that would be on the top of the first package. Good morning. Please add these items to your meeting on November mm -hmm. 13th mm -hmm. as you see fit to do so. So the second page is the purchase order for the speed radar sign. I, I make a motion that we approve that. 
purchase. I'll second that motion, and I know um, that Chris was also yeah. in favor. Yeah, he did send us a small email. So I cannot order that. Someone other than a member of the public has to order that. So, oh. whoever that is. Okay. So, what will happen to the old sign? The old sign is toast. Yeah, but can we take it and get scrap metal price for it? <laughs> there might be some metal in there. Hopefully, the guy who picks it, who brings the old one, will take the. Brings a new one, we'll take the old one maybe for parts yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, and uh, Traffic Lodge, it's this guy Mark Gregory is queued up, so he'd be appreciative of a purchase, signed purchase order and he could get that unit in town within two weeks. Okay. So, deliver it to the garage. Okay. So, we need to sign something here. Call him or what? You're going to call, right, Brandy? Okay. okay. Oh, okay. And then who has to sign the purchase order or who has to do that? I think well, the select board's got to approve yeah, it. Yeah, you can just approve the purchase order <laughs> and then Brandy can call me that. So just okay. the minutes. Yeah, the minutes will stay there. But you're not going to get the minutes for a while. Five days. So, what? Five days. Yeah, right, okay. Statue. <laughs> huh? The state statue. Yeah, right, yeah. Okay. Like I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> so anyhow, thank you for approving that. Mm. Then who will install it? Well, I'm having difficulty finding an installer. The folks who installed the other the four, the original four, mm -hmm. called Lafia Specialties in uh -huh. real estate. And I don't believe they want to come down here just to install one sign. Mm. But I'm still working on it. So. Mm. And I don't believe the road crew would want to install it. Mm. Well, maybe we do. Well, you need a permit, however, to work on Route 14. So yeah. that's something we have to keep in our back pocket. And then the post is still there, right? Yes. The post is fine. It's just the sign itself. The um, sign and the solar array. The solar. Yeah. Mm. So this will come pre-programmed for 40 miles an hour. Mm. So I have the install instructions. But cool. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, we can do that. You think? Yeah. Okay. If, especially if it's if it's pre-programmed, mm. that would be my challenge. Would be programming it. But if it's programmed already, it's just nuts and bolts. Yep. Really? Yeah, nuts and bolts. And make sure the solar panel is arrayed properly. The solar array is aligned properly. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it gets the uh, most amount of sunlight. That's about it. What? That's about it. That's about it. In the installation, yeah. yeah. Oh. We can do that. There no, there's no wire? No, it's not hooked it to plug, anything. It just plugs in to one another. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Great. Huh. Yeah. Makes it easy. And it's uh, hmm. spec the same. It has data collection and reporting. Hmm. So if we want to download mm -hmm. how many cars are exceeding the 40 mile an hour limit mm -hmm. or not. Does it take a picture? <laughs> no. It won't. No. Thank goodness. Mm. Yeah, imagine, the, <laughs> imagine the ACLU coming after us when we're doing with the pictures. <laughs> so second on the list. Approve and not the repairs to the county road extension. So that in the package is the Excel spreadsheet. And it shows a total of 37,052.84. And that cost was derived during a meeting with Alfie and Danielle and Lara, where we ascertained how much material we're going to need, the labor and the type of equipment that will be used to uh, complete the repairs. Mm -hmm. So that's in the grants portal as a damage inventory, mm -hmm. and I'll get to that later on. So but we're not planning to do that till next year, right? I was waiting to see what the board oh. thought about that. Really? Mm. Whether we were going to fix it or not fix it. In terms of cost, you know, it, right now as it sits, we can get 80, what is it, 87.5 percent. 
between FEMA and the state. Well, you saw the, the email yeah, that I got from yeah, Ben Rose, right? Yeah. I'll get into that too. Okay. So right now, from all the information I have, that's ironclad, mm -hmm. and not looking forward to if this happens or if that happens, we, we would be able to get 87.5% of that cost. However, if what Ben Rose said is true, we might be able to get close to 95%. But two things have to happen. The president has to declare the disaster has, the cost of the disaster mm -hmm. has increased to 200 million or something mm -hmm. like that. And one other thing has to occur. So now whether or not that can occur is you know, up to speculation. It may or may not occur. I thought he said that it, the trigger was like 111 thousand million. 111 million. And he thinks he'll far exceed that right, for the he space. Thinks, yeah, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. But yeah. I, I mean, just, I just deal still, with. They don't have a lot of. Probably they don't have a lot of numbers from us. But they probably are missing a lot of numbers from other towns too. Well, they probably have our numbers now. Okay. Because they get they can get into the FEMA grants portal, yeah. and mm -hmm. so they know we have damage inventories of, in there. I think mm -hmm. 62 totaling, and I'll get into that later. But anyhow, yeah, our, our numbers are there. Mm -hmm. So the absolutes that I know now, we can get 87.5 mm -hmm. percent. Whether or not those two items occur, mm -hmm. you know. Still speculation. It would be great if that happened. Mm -hmm. You know, it just we'd have to be on the hook for five percent. Mm -hmm. Better than a hundred percent. Being on the hook for. It. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is a placeholder again. We had to, and I'll get into this next. We had to get all our damage inventories up into into the portal on time, and we did that. Mm -hmm. So this is a placeholder like. Other things are there, like the town offices, just to have it there. Mm. And, you know, we don't have to ask, ask FEMA to assign a project to any of these damage inventories if the board chooses not to go through with them. You know, the permanent repairs. But we didn't have to approve all the other projects that got done. That who's done? That the town has done, that they've been working on all summer. Right. Yeah. So I mean, I don't mind doing it, but well, just, I, I, guess, I don't know what the distinction is. Well, this is distinction is is that extension. I don't know was a contentious item whether or not folks wanted to even repair that. That's the only contention mm. I heard. I didn't hear anybody speak against it. Okay. I I, so, I felt like there was maybe it wasn't directly stated, but I felt like it got brought up and um, it seemed like it. It doesn't seem like everybody was 100% on board, um, but I am. Um, can I make a motion to approve the repairs, or is this not the right time for that? Well, if you want to do that, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. We are doing that today, right? Or yeah. did you want to wait? Yeah. I really, I really thought that it was going to be much, much more than that, because I thought all that stuff had come down into the road until I talked to Mark Sassy, and he said, no, most of that stuff that came down the mountain is still on his property didn't come into the road. What I saw was not a slide. Yeah. It's not a landslide. Oh. It's, it's a washout. Oh. So one of the one of the brooks jumped out of where yeah. it was supposed to be okay. and it washed the road out. Uh -huh. So it's not a slide. Mm, it's, a, okay. it's, a, it's a washout. Huh. It's not a minor washout, mind you. Yeah. But it's <laughs> but it's uh, it's not a slide. Thank you for putting up the road close sign. Yes. Yeah. No, I think that's a good idea for the hunters and all the people that Yeah, might be Mark said out. he's already pulled four people out of there. Oh, yeah. So what do you think about when it could be done? Yeah. Uh, well, I, I still have the rental excavator. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I don't know if I can complete it before snow flies. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's anybody's guess. It's mm -hmm. snowing right now. So it's but it is this week is supposed to be in the 50s, so mm -hmm. um, I can certainly make an attempt. Everybody, everything else is done? 
Uh, we're still we're working on our sand pile. Yeah. We've got a little more of that to do. What do you mean, all your flood related work? I believe so. Wow. Yes, yes mm -hmm. I, I believe so. Mm -hmm. um, certainly all the main drives, mm -hmm. all the main roads are, are yeah. mm -hmm. um, up to snuff. <coughs> So I can, I mean, that's sort of the last one that I know of that's mm -hmm. not complete. Uh, I'm assuming there's probably other class fours that we haven't, that hasn't been brought to our attention. Mm -hmm. um, but that's sort of the last one on my radar. Mm -hmm. It's the one that people use. People do use it mm -hmm. some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, what I was thinking is maybe maybe if we run out of time maybe it's just go in and get the brook back where it's supposed to be mm -hmm. kind of fill in the road a little bit so at least mm -hmm. the snow machiner can get through there mm -hmm. safely um might not get it completely filled back yeah. the way it was so that you know a sedan can get through but <laughs> maybe yeah. uh you know to get it so it's travelable mm -hmm. for either a four-wheel drive truck or mm -hmm. or like i said a snow machine mm -hmm. And that I can just do with the excavator without hauling a bunch of stuff in. Huh. How, I, how much longer do you have the excavator? As long as we want it. Well, <laughs> but I mean, it's got but, month by month, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. I mean, they'll charge us accordingly if it's oh. if it's halfway through the month yeah. or whatever. They'll mm -hmm. charge us mm -hmm. accordingly. Yeah. But I believe we did get a bill right for another for another month mm -hmm. and I asked Brandy to wait on paying that until tonight's meeting so yeah. we could decide whether we want to try mm -hmm. to tackle that. I mean it seems like it's better to try to fit it in now than mm -hmm. in the middle of spring when we're mm -hmm. doing mud mm -hmm. season. And, I mean we're going to have a lot of actual summer work that we didn't get to this year mm -hmm. for next year yeah. so I think I'm willing to try yeah. to try to get it get it passable, get it open mm -hmm. uh, this fall. The only uh, reservation that Chris had was those conversations here and there about whether or not FEMA's going to cover Class Four roads. But they have the information from the Orange Book, and yeah. they have a uh, budget item that yeah. says Class Four roads. Mm -hmm. I have it here somewhere. Yeah. And it also shows an expenditure of fixing some of the class four mm -hmm. roads. So we have it as part of, uh, you know, key trends saying that you have to work on class four roads. Mm -hmm. And also we have expenditures indicating yeah. that we have worked on class four roads. So that's all they need. So they haven't, so that's enough, could be enough for them? Good. Yeah. Good. Okay. Can I ask you a clarifying question? Sure. Um, so the thirty-seven thousand dollar number—I think it was thirty-seven yeah, thousand. Sure. That's to make it passable for like any vehicle, right? But then you're saying that with the excavator, without bringing any material in, you can get it so a truck could get through, um, and that would be significantly less expensive, right? Yeah, it's not that it would only be machine time. Mm -hmm. I mean that thirty-seven thousand came came by measuring and figuring yardage, mm -hmm. and also sort of comparing the damage uh, was similar to um, what's the other road? Which one, the Old Quarry or um, uh, Nichols Ledge? Eagle Ledge. Oh, yeah. Nichols Ledge. Nichols Ledge. Yeah. Nichols Ledge. Yeah. Sorry. So it was compatible to the damage, mm -hmm. the size of the damage, the oh, amount of damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we kind of just compared and measured. And yeah. So there's twenty twenty thousand dollars for material here. So yeah. that would be, if you can't get that done this year, you could continue. The, I mean, eventually it'll be passable to the point where it was before the flood. Right. 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 Not just for snowmobiles and. Drive truck. Well, it depends on the weather. Yeah. Right. I mean, that, you know, right now it's looking like next week, this kind of week is mm -hmm. nice and warm and no mm -hmm. snow. So mm -hmm. I can put four days into into it and see where we're at. I know I can't fill all those voids in four days, no matter mm -hmm. how many trucks I brought no. in. <laughs> you know, but I yeah. can I can probably get it passable. Oh. 
and all of that would still be kept track of all that labor so that we could get reimbursed right. mm -hmm. and, and this the, the 37,000 is just a placeholder it mm -hmm. might be 50,000 yeah. mm -hmm. FEMA's still gonna you know what I mean it is yeah. what it is mm -hmm. okay. At, in the end by us keeping track mm -hmm. of time and material okay you have 18 months to, to, everything. to repair it oh. for permanent repairs so disaster was declared when was it June 20 uh, July 20th mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that yeah. so you have 18 months mm -hmm. from that day to uh, make permanent repair mm -hmm. <coughs> do you want to repeat your motion I want to ask one more question okay. to make sure I fully understand <laughs> so if we didn't approve the 37,000 you could still take the excavator smooth out what's there it would still be reasonably possible just not as good right but okay so what we would do in that mm -hmm. case what we have here now is a permanent fix so we would step back and we would go into the fema grants portal and get this damage inventory and change it from a permanent repair to a temporary repair mm -hmm. the placeholder would still remain the cost would be much less, I'm thinking, much less. Oh, yes. okay. And so then FEMA would take a look at that and reimburse us for that temporary repair. Mm -hmm. Then we could come back as long as it's within that 18 month time span and do the permanent repair. Oh, but why? Okay. Well, why would we do it that way? Because thinking. we're running out of time and weather wise. Right, but we could still, we could still approve the permanent fix. Mm -hmm. FEMA is the one that's given us, allowing us 18 months. That's mm -hmm. the deadline. Mm -hmm. And that so. doesn't matter if it's temporary or permanent, correct? All repairs have to be done at the end of 18 months? Permanent yes. repairs. Permanent repairs. Mm -hmm. have to so, be what a, so then temporary your temporary time. repair, you have... Go ahead. You have how long? Six months. Six months. And then if you turn it into permanent, then you get another 18 months on top of that? No. no. You get another total. year. So it's just 18 months total, no matter if it's temporary going into permanent or if it's just permanent. Mm -hmm. Six months for a temporary. So we would change that one to a temporary. So we would change right. what we get done. Then, and then when we fix it in six months, when spring comes, fix it permanently, we'll right. go back in and change it. So we still only have 18 months to fix it. That's mm -hmm. correct. Okay. Regardless of how we do it, we have yeah. 18 months. Right. Yeah. I don't understand doing it in two stages like that. Well, as Brandy said, it's weather, perhaps. Well, I mean, I know you can't do it. You can't do the work right now, but to give them, a, tell them how much it's going to cost totally, at least a placeholder, like you said. Well, it's a placeholder. You know, I could go in and the say, The idea is to do a permanent dollar, repair. You know. I mean, if, if the weather holds out, but that's anybody's guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it holds out, I can I could probably get material and put in there. I'm I'm actually working on a deal right now that would provide us a lot of material, mm -hmm. fairly close by, mm -hmm. which we could get there really quick if mm -hmm. if if this happens. I don't there's no <laughs> guarantee, but um, but that's all I'm going to say about that right now. <laughs> I'm with Diane on this one. I don't understand why you would take your permanent and turn it into a temporary for six months and then turn it back into a permanent. You're still only getting well, 18 no, it'll months. Be, it'll be final then. We're only kicking backwards because right. we're not, if we can't so, get to it all. It's just the way it's bracketed. Yeah, so temporary. But you still only have 18 months. That's correct. correct. Yeah. But if, but if for some reason you don't have the manpower for the permanent fix. As long as you do a temporary fix, okay, just make it passable. That's six months. Okay. But we could still have the total in there. We could still. Right? So what Getting happens the if you keep it as permanent and you get it passable in the six months and then you have to go back next summer and finish it? Well, what if well, FEMA, FEMA comes won't to check pay out? for yeah. work that's not done? Right. FEMA won't pay for work that isn't being done. But they'll so pay for work. So if we get if we get the temporary fixed within the six months, they'll send us a check for it. And that's then, the part you were leaving out. Thank and you. then, <laughs> then when we do you the want permanent fix, <laughs> no, I'm the 
permanent <laughs> fix in the 18, after the 18 yeah. or before the 18 months, then they'll pay us for the mean? permanent fix. Yeah. But still, well, we can yeah. approve that permanent fix now. That's what I'm saying. And We're just gonna, show them that we've think, done a temporary fix. I think it's just the concept of fixing it. Of fixing the road. Right. It's not the right. money. It's You're not, not approving money. money. Right. You're approving whether we should fix the class mm -hmm. four or right. not fix the class four. Can I make a motion to fix the class four? <laughs> I'll second it. Okay. okay. All, All in right. favor? Aye. Then we'll move forward <laughs> <laughs> with county road extension yeah. and whatever that sort sorts out to be. And yes. You'll let me know. I sure will. Okay. Yes. As, as as soon as we get a dumping of snow or the ground freezes like a rock, then we'll, yeah. that's when we'll know that we're not doing Move the permit. On. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just let me know. Because I'll change mm -hmm. it in the portal. Yeah. Okay. I just have a, a burning question. Who's really responsible for the improvement of this? Is it FEMA or you? You say yes to the permanent fix, then it goes to FEMA, and they may not say, no, we're not going to do it. Correct? We They're are being told that they will pay up yeah. to 85%. So I think, Carol, this is just the concept. That's squirrely, if you well, <laughs> the term. But well, when we get to the discussion on the bridges, then you right. know, so yeah. is, is, well, it's it the same the wording. It's the same wording of these two proposals. That's why. I just it, it was that. just the concept, because there okay. were some questions on whether or not they even folks even wanted that county road extension fixed. Okay. So mm -hmm. we went ahead and said, okay. In case put it in. folks wanted the road fixed, mm -hmm. this is what it will cost, what we estimate it will cost for the permanent fix. We uploaded that into the FEMA portal and it's there as a placeholder. Right now it's there as a permanent fix and however long that takes. We can change it to temporary pretty simply and adjust the uh, damage inventory accordingly just with temporary fixed dollars. <laughs> and then going forward, when we do the permanent fix, we'll add permanent dollars to the damage inventory and FEMA will cut another check. So will FEMA, if it becomes permanent with your additional monies that were temporary, will they pay 100% at that point? They'll pay 85 uh, or 95. 95. Yeah, 85. It depends. It depends on things happening. But right now it's 87.5%. So who's responsible for the other 15, 20% of the tax? Mm -hmm. Taxpayers. Tax mm -hmm. yeah. tax. okay. We have no choice. Mm -hmm. Run with it, Skip. Keep going. Perhaps too much information. <laughs> I know. Well, it's, it's the terminology that doesn't make sense. I well, no, you're right about that. <coughs> yeah, I, yeah. And so. So we uh, approve going ahead for the full thing, right? Right. Yes. It's okay. So we'll approve or not the permanent repairs and to bridges on Tower on Highway 23 and 24. Seem to will cost us to pay. So again, this was uploaded onto the FEMA Grants Portal as two separate damage inventories. And yeah, we'll get into the damage inventories in the next part of the presentation. So, uh, you know, the cost for the new bridges, according to DeWolf, are approaching a million twenty-two thousand dollars for two bridges, which is a significant cost. Which should be in the last, mm -hmm. yeah. So, and if the town had to pay 10% of that, that would be outrageous. A lot. That would be so, a lot. But I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. So again, that's, yes. that's up on the FEMA portal. Right now, there's the permanent fixes are in. The one he was talking about. And, uh, excuse me, the temporary fixes are in using those state loan bridges. Mm -hmm. And the permanent fix we put in as a placeholder for each of these bridges, one was 542 and the mm -hmm. other one. I forget. So approaching a million dollars for both mm -hmm. bridges. So I have thoughts about that, but it's up to the board. Again, whether or not 
you, you don't even have to really mm. think about that quite yet because you would have to go out to bids per our procurement policy right. and get at least three bids. So right now, there's a place over there for a million twenty-two thousand dollars, but don't even think about that. Yeah. None of that it's hard money. Not to. <laughs> none of that money has been expended, nor probably mm -hmm. will it ever be expended. Yeah. Just let me explain how uh, that number came available, because um, Alfie had said he couldn't get people to, um, you know, engineers mm, interested sure. in doing the design for uh, now. And when I talked with the Wolf Engineering about the rail trail, he said, what about those bridges? And I said, well, we'd love to have you take a look and give us an estimate on the design cost. And instead we got this, which is good because we need a number. Right. Well, we That's got a big number. We, got, right. we, got we need a number. What? We have a design cost also. We d where's that? Uh, I don't know if it's, it's probably not in here. But From the Wolf? Okay. It was like 24,000. 24,000, yeah. It was Is it in with this total here? I didn't see it either, but. Um, I know there's an engineering, but I don't. You know. Anyway. Um, it should be. They have clearing anyway. and grubbing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was sent separately. Maybe. Would be my guess. Mm. I didn't see that one. No. I think it was sent separately. But anyway, just, we just needed a number, even, even right. though it yeah. might or might not be realistic. So we have a number. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then we'll go out to bid next spring. Well, well we gotta, we gotta, they haven't done the engineering yet. Right, we'll go to bid for the engineering, or for the design. And... Uh, so what's wrong with the bridges that are there now? Yeah, good question. Good question. Well, one big one is that they're not our bridges. They so, belong to the state, and they are not going to sell them to us. They're not going to. They won't. They're not. Okay. I've 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 asked them. No. Oh, okay. Because I wanted, you know, I I you thought that myself. So mm -hmm. They're in place. Why can't we just purchase it and go about our life? And mm -hmm. they're like, no, we're not. We don't want to sell our bridges. Hmm. Bummer. So yes, no, that would have been great. No, oh, how much? Was, I wonder how much they cost retail. So. <laughs> Would it help if the select board sent a letter to the uh, Department of Transportation, VTRANS, and say, hey? Yeah, for Forest and Parks? And the Forest and Parks, it has those? Well, so here's another problem. <laughs> Opportunity. Is that, <laughs> well, no, it's the, it's the abutments. Oh. The oh. abutments are not suited for the next flood. Oh. And if we're going to take this out of our own budget, then fine, we can take that risk. Mm -hmm. But if we're taking FEMA money, they're mm -hmm. going to want it engineered. They're going to want yeah. to know that this isn't right. going to happen right. the next time it rains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why the engineers really? get involved. Sure. Lenny. And mm -hmm. Lenny, right. So, mm -hmm. you know, those are two major problems that we have. There's another problem that this raises with FEMA. So if you improve anything, which the improvements to these two bridges would be significant, mm -hmm. you have to have an engineering study done. Mm -hmm. They have to come out and make sure what we're doing meets FEMA standards for mitigation. Mm -hmm. So that's another, that's another department of FEMA. Department <laughs> of FEMA that <laughs> Yeah. It's very difficult to get something like this through FEMA without a lot of effort on mm. our part. Mm. And that's okay. Mm. But effort on FEMA's part, FEMA's part too. So it's not as easy as just signing off. <sighs> but anyhow, we should be sure we can't get those bridges. I, I, I've asked. I can ask again. Or I can right. I can find the the I have the manufacturer I can oh. see what maybe we can buy our own bridge I mean mm. there there are other ways of fixing both of these bridges yeah that doesn't have to cost a million dollars a million dollars yeah that's what I figure a design, an engineer design plan would would give you an options right mm. so, well no no I mean it would 
but it's still going to be a million dollars because the engineer is going to engineer it in a way that's going to last for the next hundred years. And, and there's a lot of concrete, there's a lot of stuff in there. Mm. Mm. My thoughts are we could do it a whole lot cheaper, but we're sort of taking a risk of, of the ability for it to last a hundred years mm. or to last the next flood. I mean, I know I can go and build that bridge so it will last. But will an engineer agree with that mm -hmm. and sign off? Mm -hmm. yeah. So if we're going to do this without FEMA or without assistance, we could do it. You really think any other engineer would, would come up with the same amount of money? I'm not sure. Okay. I mean, I, I, that's why we put it, we put it out right. to bid. And, okay. You know, um, and I think when we were, when I was looking at engineers, they were like, their head was getting like this because they were seeing all this work yeah. coming in and they were like, no, oh, I, I don't know if I can do it. Sure. Oh, just because yeah. of their own time, Nate, yeah. Nate mm -hmm. in particular, I, I mean, I really liked him because he, he knows the area. Who's that? Uh, Nate. Oh, right, okay, Nate okay. Temple, right? Yeah, right. Nate, oh, uh, no, Nate. Nate, Temple, Nate, um, Nate yeah. Something, whatever his name is. Ruggles Engineering. Yeah. Nate Seacard. Seacard. Right. Yeah, Seacard, yeah. Because yeah. right. mm -hmm. he already knows the area, so I was like, right. And the conversation that he and I had was more, we could fix this and do it, you know, mm -hmm. cheaper. But he couldn't do design work but until next spring. He wouldn't be able to do the design work yeah. until next spring. Yeah. So the Which like, now, okay. with where we are now, I can go back to him and say, hey, can we, can you put us a bid together for, or will you bid on this engineering for us? And that'll be number two bid. Mm -hmm. so this, this one will go for, one bid, and then we can mm -hmm. get him and one sure. other. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we can probably do it cheaper. And every engineer is going to have a different idea of how to fix this. Mm -hmm. You know, same mm -hmm. with a mechanic has different ways of fixing a vehicle. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So if we approve this today, that's still an option. This is just going to hold the place. And then those cheaper options are still on the table. We're not mm -hmm. taking them off by yeah. approving this, right? Mm -hmm. We don't really have to you know, even have to approve it because okay. it's already a project that's in the right. okay. in the works and been working but, on it for months now. Carol? You can't submit something through FEMA and then all of a sudden, after you do all this design work and get an engineer and then pull back and say, no, we're going to do it our way. Which would be more money for the taxpayers. Right. Right. That but we sense. haven't we haven't we haven't gone through with any engineering yet. Mm -hmm. We've just got an estimate for the engineering. There's been no engineering done yet. None. We still need I to thought, go to well, what's the twenty four thousand? I thought that was a plan that That's an estimate for the engineering. To design. He, they came out, right? They came yeah, out. Yeah, but that out. doesn't give you a design. <laughs> That's it's a just lot more involved. looking at it to see the scope mm -hmm. of the okay. work and so to we're talking give about you a blueprint message. about oh, yeah. Yeah. what you're there'll talking be a, about. There'll be a stack of paper yeah. this tall. Okay. With with just the estimate directions for of the how design. to build it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're not anywhere near that. Mm -hmm. So the bridges are safe. Uh, I, I'd like to address that problem too. No, it is my it's bridge coming. is safe. Carol, it's coming. I, oh, it's coming. I, oh, no, no, no! It's but I, I just have to. I just have to uh, roll out this problem that I know about. I had a friend who had a temporary bridge in the flooding, and emergency vehicles refused to go across the bridge in his barn burn. Yeah. Okay. So I am asking the select board to post or give me a sign to put up. I know your excavator was on there, so I don't know how many tons that is. I know that bridge is state approved, mm -hmm. but I need a sign. That's an engineer. That's an engineering thing? Yeah, I can't I mean, get a posted I'm sign? I'm not going to put a sign there that says that it's good for 10,000 pounds or, pounds or, or 100,000 pounds, because I, I haven't done the math. The math. Somebody needs to do the math as to what those bridges will stand for weight. Well, that's kind of an issue, in a way. But you I mean, know, somebody had somebody had an issue, right? Someone, yeah, a friend. Yeah, mm -hmm. but but what? Other people in the same situation. I mean, how how? 
Oh. Is that an oddity, or is that something that's happening all over the place? I, I don't, I don't know. Mm. This is something I just heard that mm. you said ask the select board for a posted sign for weight, mm. and that's one of them. Really? But mm. if I can't, I mean, mm. I, I'm sure the fire department would. They come over my old bridge, and oh. that was I beams oh. under yeah. that. Yeah. So this bridge, it's got posts through it, but the boards are separating. So yeah, when you take a look at the putting those guardrails on, you've got to take a look at the bridge. It is separating a little bit. I don't know how it was planked together, but there's a hole. It's not. There, there's there's three pieces panels that just iron rods. they're just setting together. They're not hooked together. The three panels oh, okay. that are four feet wide. Yep. There are three of them setting and just setting together. They're not tied together. Uh, oh, they're not. not oh, all. okay. But there is themselves, the, the boards that make up the four feet wide yep. are are bolted together. Okay. All right. But the three panels that make up the twelve feet, yeah. they are not hooked together. Okay, because I did see rod I looked at it and I saw yeah. the rods, but I did I thought yeah. it went right mm -hmm. through all of them. So yeah. yeah. Um, I might be able to call the state who owns them and maybe they have a rating, a load rating for them. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we could maybe put some sort of sign saying what they're, you know. But like I said, that's generally an engineer that would make that determination okay. as to what it would hold. Wouldn't Paul Cerruti want to know that too? See if his one of his pumpers can get over that on that You bridge. would think so. Yeah. yeah. The and state, the state might not already have right? signs for him. They may. They may. I can find out. Because isn't that the whole point of them, is to run equipment across? Is that That's why they have them, right? Yeah. They're, they call them a skitter bridge. Okay. Yeah. Skitters skitter skitter are pretty big. Skitter bridge. So they, you know, okay. they'll hold a skitter. They're going to hold a, a, a tank truck. full of water. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mm -hmm. hesitate to put a 10-wheeler across it myself. Mm -hmm. That's just my own comfort level. Skitter bridge. <laughs> The, the one the bridge that's on Jarnus's that there is no question about that that thing will hold six trucks mm -hmm. and that thing is it's made for that mm -hmm. I will find out about the, the wooden bridge and see if see if there's the state may have a rating already I mean it's kind of the state bailed us out and I give them <laughs> huge credit for that yeah, because yeah. They, they just come get a bridge mm -hmm. when we needed it and mm -hmm. it got us to where we are today right with you being able to get in and out sure yeah and, absolutely you know so um, I'll ask them if they have more a load rating and what they would feel comfortable with posting it at and then you want me to contact Paul and see how much those trucks weigh? Mm. Uh, you I mean, can, but I'm, I'm sure they're the same as a you know regular truck. You can find out. You can find out that from him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Alfie, thank you for doing that. Sure. Yeah. So, so number four, lastly. Mm -hmm. So the next, the next part of our FEMA project is going to include a lot of work inside the FEMA portal. And mm. so Chris is now the alternate contact for the town of mm -hmm. Woodbury. I'd like, that, I'd like that change to Danielle because she and I will be working in that portal, uploading documents and answering questions and whatever else FEMA needs from the town to, you know, have them cut us a check. I, th I uh, make a motion that we appoint Danielle Rivalera as the second point of contact for FEMA. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And Chris was fine with that too. Oh, good. Yeah. Blame him. 
<laughs> so the second handout I gave you folks is an email I sent November 8th. I think there's a couple of copies of the material. So this this is next one. This is in regards to the damage inventory. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what it does is it lays out on the second paragraph with Town Highway in tw uh, 23 and 24 bridge repairs to Wolf Estimates. Total estimated repairs cost is $1,342,000 and change. FEMA payout of 75% of that. And then third paragraph, without the DeWolf bridges, the repair costs just for the work Alfie has done both temporary and permanent, and the permanent repairs that will be happening within the next year or so. FEMA payout of $342,164.80 is the $256,000. Okay. okay, so fourth paragraph, I spoke with Andrew Flatt because I had seen that documentation regarding 90% or 95%, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and I just wanted someone from emergency management uh, to either confirm or not mm -hmm. that 90% figure. So the uh, body of his email indicates that we'll be getting an extra 12.5% from the state. And again, that's a, as of today. Now, if the anything happens and the president signs another declaration and we're able to get more money, even better. But for right now, for budgetary purposes, because I know your folks are going to be mm -hmm. doing budgeting, the figure of uh, 256000 is what you should use. Um, Unless you choose not to. Um, okay, uh, let's see. So, Three hundred and forty-two one sixty-four is the cost of all the other work that's been done. Absent the two, yes. Right, but this one million three forty-two does that include the bridges? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, so there is also some money for the temporary bridges, right? It's in there somewhere. That's uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. That's in the three forty-two. It's in the 342 wow. and 6480, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. So. 342. So 75% of 342 is 256. That's, that's so. what I came up with. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so. The third page in your handout is that ERAP summary, mm -hmm. and this is what uh, Andrew Flagg quoted for the state's cost share. So the ERAP rate as of last week. ERAP meaning? Hold on, I, I did spell that out here. Emergency, Emergency Relief and Assistance Fund, okay. ERAP, right, is 12.5%. And other communities have larger ERAF rates. Mm -hmm. Don't know how that happens. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not even going to speculate. Mm -hmm. So that's how you come up with a 87.5% as of today. The other sheets are damage inventory worksheets. So these came directly from the FEMA portal. Mm -hmm. So you, you download the FEMA portal and it's, a, it's in a .csv file, mm. which is just all numbers and chunk all together. Then mm. you convert it into an Excel spreadsheet. So here's the Excel sp spreadsheet that's representative of all of the damage inventories that are now in the portal. So there's... So category B, Eight temporary per. repairs. Mm -hmm. Category C, a permanent repairs. So and there's eight different 
Um, damage inventories for the rail trail, does that like include every BC, BC, old? BC, BC. Some are temporary, some are permanent. Okay. But that's okay. It's, oh, okay, I see. Is, so the the one, okay. So what they do, FEMA, is they categorize it by mm -hmm. damage number. And you'll see the damage numbers are all uh, different. different numbers. So if you do forward, you'll see on the second page, number 1360643 is the Town Highway 24 bridge. And you move down like four rows, and there's the uh, Town Highway 23 bridge. Mm -hmm. And there's the, mm -hmm. if you go you look at 1360648 Town Highway 23 Bridge, this is the B, which would be the temporary repairs for mm -hmm. $8,339 and change. Mm -hmm. So you can just keep going and going. And What's going. Category E? Category E. Category E is for buildings. Okay. okay, so that's probably the town offices that you're looking at. Yeah. That would be for buildings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No speed sign. There's a B also on it. What's that? The radar speed sign. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Buildings and equipment. Yeah. So if you go down to the next to the last sheet, and you go one, two, three, four, five rows, you see Cabot Road but one. FEMA has actually assigned a project number to that. So, by yeah, this, wrong. next to the last sheet. Okay. okay. See, okay, but road one. Cabot Road 1 over okay. to the right, there's yeah. that 736 200 number. Yeah. So, that's mm -hmm. a project number that FEMA assigned to Cabot Road 1. Don't ask me why they assigned that. I have no idea. If they have also assigned all these other numbers they on the left hand? That's the only project number they've assigned. Wow. So I wrote to FEMA <laughs> and asked, why don't you assign a project for all the Cabot Road, Cabot Road? Yeah. One, t excuse me, 10 and 20. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to make out so much paperwork. Mm -hmm. So I've not received a response from my email. Yeah. So we have to, I'm going to run, or Danielle and I are going to run and fill out a project report mm -hmm. for Cabot Road 1 for that $9,301. So at, at the last meeting you said that um, you couldn't continue uploading all your different pages that you have to until she applies the numbers? Assigns the numbers? Different pages. Different forms, like the force something, force equipment of count, and I forget what they were called. Force equipment summary, all that stuff. Yes. Yeah, all that yeah. Stuff. So yeah. those are like timesheets. Mm. Those are uh, equipment usage and materials. Mm -hmm. And that's all in another. Those are three separate mm -hmm. forms. And until a project number is assigned, you can't use any of those forms because those are categorized by project numbers. Oh. So, so anyway. it's still the same location, okay, same place you were last year, last meeting. Well, no, we, have a, goes. we have a project we have number one. assigned. Well, <laughs> so we can move forward with that one project, but to hey. me, that's. Not a good use of our time no. because Cabot Road 10 and 20, don't know why she assigned that. No. They're going to assign another project number to it and we'll be just going through the same stuff. So, mm -hmm. Anyhow, maybe I'll get a response. This week I know she's on vacation, yeah. Michelle, uh, from mm -hmm. the contact. Her boss is filling in, he must be busy. So. Anyhow, and then the last sheet, again, there's a, just a summary mm -hmm. of FEMA portion of with the bridges and without the bridges. Okay. So I'm 
I'm very impressed that you have all these numbers already. Well, pretty amazing. Well, without Alfie mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, without, you know, Danielle's yeah. expert yeah. Excel spreadsheet work, mm -hmm. you know, you yeah. would have, you know, the numbers wouldn't mm -hmm. be as concise, mm -hmm. and they are pretty much spot on. Because mm -hmm. you know, we, we took the time to sit down and say, okay, how much is six inch minus cost per cubic yard? How much is rip mm -hmm. cost? Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Um, so that stuff you only have to do once and then, I mean, you know. Well, Danielle's refining that now, no? moving it from an Excel spreadsheet onto PDF files. Mm -hmm. So we can mm -hmm. upload and I'll show you what we have to do. Mm -hmm. Does everyone have something like this that says project on it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In a separate, oh yeah, right yeah. here. Yeah. You guys probably don't have that because mm -hmm. I only mm -hmm. made three copies, four copies. Do you want to look? I can over, look over at Diana's folder. If you'd like to follow mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So. <laughs> Little so squares is, and circles all over the place here. So this is looking right in the FEMA portal. Mm. So every project you're required to number one answer twenty five questions. This is why you're hoping to join the projects. That's correct. Okay, I can see why. Yeah. So, and you know I'm not going to go mm -hmm. through every mm -hmm. question, mm -hmm. but you have to answer before you even. Mm. Begin a project, 25 questions. Mm. And then within the 25 questions, like section 2.1.1, regular hours the applicant is claiming, overtime hours, total cost for applicants and employees. So there are some things you have to fill in. Once you say yes, then these things pop up, and you have to fill in that information. Oh. So anything in the red box, you mm. should move through on page mm. five. Please dis describe the work. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Placing barricades for safety. Blah, mm. blah, blah, blah. And then you answered, is there any sandbagging? Are you fighting floods? Mm. Emergency pumping, search and rescue, firefighting. Blah, 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 blah. And mm -hmm. moving smartly forward to question number 24 and then 24.1. So, that's just to get you started oh my wow. on a project. Okay. You guys have a lot of patience. Thank you. Then the second page, or the, or the last page, mm -hmm. page four out of four. Mm. So these are all the required documents. Oh my God. So every, every place you see a plus oh, is a document. Mm -hmm. you were, Diana, you were talking about force account, mm. labor, pay policy. Mm. So they already have pay policy, they have the fringe benefit calculation, mm -hmm. but they want you to add it again. Mm -hmm. You know, they have it as a separate document, <laughs> but they want to add it wow. again. And then the equipment summary, equipment rate costs, equipment record that Alfie you know, provided for us, mm -hmm. material summary that Alfie provided for us, we all have those sheets. The, those sheets. But we have to work on Force account materials, mm. invoices, and receipts. Oh, so I started on that today. Since they all have to be digitized and uploaded onto the FEMA portal, mm. Brandy's binder, yeah, which is that. about that thick, all has to be mm. scanned and put on a, a flash drive. Then we have yeah. to uh, correlate which invoice is for which project, which is for the project that we understand, but the project that FEMA assigns to it is different. It will be different. So those are hmm. just some of the tasks that are now in front of us. Now that all the damage inventories are done and that milestone was met, now we have to get into the projects. And this is what FEMA requires. Mm. For the project. Wow. Ten years later. <laughs> no, this has to be done. Once you once they yeah. once they make a project, you have thirty days to uh, submit your stuff. 
So when you say make a project, that means they have assigned a number? Yes. So they've only assigned us one number so right. far out of all of our... Yeah. So if next week they assign all these other numbers, then yikes. Trouble. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to have a special meeting just to <laughs> do that. Trouble. But you can always ask for an extension, too. Mm. So I talked to another uh, gentleman in, in, in the state, and he said that some towns, you know, who are rich towns and have staff, they have assigned their staff to do this. Mm. Anyhow. Yeah. But we have a skip. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. We're getting by. Yeah, Skip and Michelle. Right. Uh, excuse me, Skip and Daniel. Daniel. Yeah. Well, many thanks to all three of you for yeah. all this work. Mm. Yeah, Alfie's been right there with us. All the time. Mm. So I have one more request. Okay, so put on your memory caps. Back on the Slip Board meeting on September 25th. That's when I first brought up the subject that I needed some help, and would you uh, be willing to bring Danielle onto the project? And at that point in time, I thought that perhaps 40 to 60 hours total would work. And so far it has worked for phase one of the project, which is doing damage inventory. Mm -hmm. I believe if I already made a uh, printout, Danielle has expended 42 hours, so that's well within the 40 to 60 hours. Mm. But going forward, and, and so far, so that was for $2,100 that the town has paid Michelle, and so far I've cost the town $984 for a total of like $3,100. So 5%, I did some more calculation, 5% mm -hmm. of the uh, or was it 352,000 is $13,281. Mm -hmm. So we have, and this this is the 13,000, that's what FEMA will pay the town for this ad. That's cost. the category Z or Category Z, yeah, 5% yeah, mm -hmm. of the total mm -hmm. cost. So we still have $10,000 to expend. And I don't believe we'll even get close to an additional ten thousand dollars with the additional work. So what I would ask the select board tonight is that we don't put an hour limit on the work that Danielle is doing. That the select board consider to keep her on board as a consultant mm -hmm. and until this project is done. You know, and you know the next two or three months is gonna be crazy with all the paperwork we have to do. Mm. But after that, it should drop off significantly. You were the one that had concerns about that. I mean, I think it makes sense. You've done a pretty good job of illustrating the amount of work that there is to do. So, um, well, I, I think it makes sense. It's all true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obvious. So, um, you make a motion to have and whatever amount of time is needed. Up until, okay. up to, we won't exceed that 5% of the, mm -hmm. the total for Category C. We won't do that. Okay. I will second that motion, Diana. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I have. Um, can I go check on my kid real quick before we yeah, keep going? Go Sorry, you guys. I'll be right back. So, Alfie, uh, you were late, so that's why we let Skip go first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you? Just took my plate. <laughs> what? <laughs> he could have just taken my plate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do on the rail trail? All done. It is done. Yeah. Well, uh, what I consider done. The other, the only other thing that we may want to do is some sort of railings. So you haven't decided whether did you put the stones there? 
I didn't put stones. Uh, I did take care of get rid of the berm yeah. as the engineer uh, requested. Mm -hmm. um, but with no berm there, mm -hmm. it, it's, it drops right off. Yeah. So and it's plenty wide, so it's not it's not that as an yeah, issue. Yeah, but still. But it's still a major drop off with no trees, no linear delineation mm -hmm. or nothing. So mm -hmm. um, I was thinking of calling Steve Gray mm -hmm. uh, and see what his thoughts were about that. Mm -hmm. If maybe he could chip in to help with some sort of railing um, that would suffice for some machine travel. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's sort of the only the only other thing that I mm -hmm. thought maybe we should do or look into. But it's uh, it's all the culverts are fixed. The water is traveling the way it's supposed mm -hmm. to, and the slides are mm -hmm. are cared for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The excavator is still sitting there at the intersection of Buck Lake. Yeah, I noticed that. But that'll be going to the county road really soon, mm -hmm. as our discussion just. Uh, hey, so you don't think the rocks would make any sense? For well, um, the engineer wrote a large email to me explaining oh. the difference between uh, a, 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 a berm of soil mm -hmm. versus a stone. Mm -hmm. um, or a barricade, because that's what he recommended using. Oh. And but barricades? He like wanted us to use barricades, like scrumpy, Like jersey barriers? Jersey and barriers, and yeah. yeah. So that, to me, doesn't make a lick of sense, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. concrete's a lot heavier than heavier. that yeah. little bit of dirt. Yeah, there, really. You know? mm -hmm. They could fall over the edge pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I honored his wishes by mm -hmm. removing the the berms, mm -hmm. um, but I don't think that boulders are wise. Okay. Because if somebody leaves the trail, mm -hmm. hits a boulder, mm -hmm. it's going to cause damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the town's going to be on the hook. Mm -hmm. So I think of some sort of a fence or some something like that uh, with reflectivity on it. Is probably going to be our best. And they could probably do that installation themselves. Well, that's what I'm going to ask. I'm yeah. hoping they can. Yeah. Um, because they would know what is suitable for mm -hmm. snowshoe travel mm -hmm. and whatnot. So mm -hmm. I'm going to look into that. I'm going to call Steve Gray and see what his offering is. Mm -hmm. um, so what's their total on that so far? Yeah. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Yeah. 33, 43, 53. That was the first sheet. 60. Seven, nine, 10. 20. Harvard Rail Trail, yeah. 25. First sheet. Like a lot less than what's that other estimate, that first estimate that we got that was going to be a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, we, so I don't have a calculator. <laughs> I, I can't 20, do that. <laughs> 25. So, 25 or $30,000. So the town's portion of that would be maybe three thousand dollars. Whatever. Not too bad. Eighty-five percent of eighty-seven. Hmm? Eighty-seven percent. Eighty-seven point five. Yes, yeah. I can't make it eighty-five. <laughs>
So here's another instance where FEMA better take into account that these half a dozen or eight line items are all for the rail trail mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and not assign individual projects. Really? You don't want to go through that little checklist for all eight of those? 25 crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Way to be crazy just looking at it. Mm -hmm. Can you call me and paint? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if they like that, but anyhow. You know, this should be just one project and just be done with it mm, instead of really. trying to, well, we have quantified for rail trail section four, those costs individually. So we do have that information, mm -hmm. but just to spend the time to upload mm. that. Every hole that was yeah. filled is so, crazy. But, you know, we do have that information. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I just can't see making it more work than, than mm -hmm. there needs to be. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Hey. Anything else from you? From me? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. P Mr. Point of Contact. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, oh, well, I'm sorry, when you were gone, I was asking him about the status of the real trail. So I kind of, I caught the tail end, and I think I, okay. I filled in enough to, okay. I think I know what you okay. guys are talking about. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to talk to Steve Gray about what he can offer for mm -hmm. some sort of a rail mm -hmm. uh, for protection. Yeah. He did uh, say they were going to commit $10,000. Plus, he was going to try to get some from Vasa. Yeah, well, when he was trying to convince us to fix it, he, oh. was, he was saying a lot more than that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, but that's the Yeah. Are, um, so, anyway, that's why I'm wondering if he can chip mm -hmm. in a little for, if, if, if not yeah. money, if he can, if he can do it, do, mm -hmm. a, do the installation. I mean, they've got, they've mm -hmm. got manpower and they've got, they've got funds to, yeah. uh, to buy material, so. Um, other than that, we have been hauling sand. I'm trying to get that done in between uh, other projects. So we have had one truck that's been broke down, um, a 10-wheeler, and I'm hoping to get back that back tomorrow. It was almost done Thursday, but not quite. Um, so the one, the first morning that I went out to put salt on, the one ton almost left me stranded. The, mm -hmm. the one we put salt on. And we just need to be thinking about that truck because it's really needs to be replaced or... So what, what other name do we call that by? Five, 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 five Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And that's, uh... That's not the Ford. Is that the Ford? Yeah. It's a the Ford one we spent Ford. so much money on last year? Yes. The last two years. We keep, yeah. we yeah. keep spending more money on it. It's yeah. not. You're never mm. going to get that money out of yeah. it. So I'm mm. suggesting that we do something with it really soon. Mm. And I know we just bought a grader last year and this whole FEMA thing, it puts us in a, in a tight spot. But I really want you guys to be aware that that mm -hmm. truck should not even be on the road. It's really not safe. Mm -hmm. How are all the other trucks? Is that the worst one? That's the worst thing, yes. yes. The next um, worst is the one we're trading in, right? Yes, but that's the one that's been <coughs> in, the shop. in the shop. And so they've done a bunch of repair to it. And mm. hopefully coming back with a, a safety inspection on it. So they've mm. gone through what it needs. Mm. And we have to rely on that truck, I'm going to say, until mud season before, really? the, before the new one comes. No kidding, wow. Because they, I talked to the body people and they're not, it's not even going in their shop until December 1st. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then they want two months. So mm. that's, you know, might be a little bit before mud season, but I'm planning on that. 
So, so I mean, okay. wor worst case, I can use the low pro for salt. It's more work, it's more time, but I would just have to dump the salt off and then put the sand on, just have to mix and clean out hmm. in between each product each time. So in an emergency, that's what I would do. Oh. Um, the other, the other problem that this would solve is we'd have a pickup to travel around and fix roads and instead of paying me or Greg mm -hmm. or whoever mm -hmm. mileage to mm -hmm. run their own truck. Mm. Which, you know, is another whole issue. The mileage we pay is not enough mm -hmm. for, for, you know, for either anybody's truck for that matter. So I'm hoping that we can do something for a pickup fairly soon, mm -hmm. which we could put a, you know, if we bought a pickup, we could put a, a box sander on mm -hmm. the back of it with mm -hmm. a plow, and that would do away with the 550 mm -hmm. completely. So the 550 is a pickup? It, it is. It used mm -hmm. to be a dump truck, yeah. but it's now just a flatbed with uh -huh. a sander in the back oh. of it. Yeah. Yeah. So. So. So that would alleviate. Oh, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I am so in the hole right now. So yeah, I'm going to have to go for Yeah, anyway. Just, yeah, don't look anyway. at me. Anyway. Mm. <laughs> huh. Well. Are the rest of the trucks in reasonable repair? Yes. Yeah, the rest of them are pretty, pretty decent. You still That's using bad. that really old one? The, the one that went over the bank and then got... I have actually put that together. Yeah. In the event that we break one, one breaks oh, down. Okay. I still can put sand mm -hmm. on with it. Mm -hmm. I can. I don't know if I dare put a plow on it, mm -hmm. but there's one on yeah. it right now. <laughs> It'll be ready to go uh, if we need to. Huh. Um, you couldn't use that for salt. Um, I think you could. I think you could, but you still are dumping it off every time mm. because there's no cover on it. Oh. Uh, salt would just be in the body, yeah. and it would just be mm. there's no room in the shop for it. Yep. Mm. Um, mm. This year, I'm going to have this the loader in the shop, whereas past years it was not. It was left outside mm -hmm. and plugged in, and then it would have to be left running. Oh, okay. Before the hydraulics would work, yeah. and I'm not gonna see that again. So the, the grader and the loader and two trucks? No, the grader stays out. Oh, the grader stays out. Yeah, because we don't hardly ever mm -hmm. use it. Oh, okay. There. So that will stay out. Mm -hmm. So there's two 10-wheelers, the low pro, and the loader will be inside. Mm -hmm. The salt truck, whichever mm -hmm. that one will be, will be outside. So have you started shopping for a new truck? No. Okay. No. Looking but, around, no. But I, I mean, I, I actually have been for myself because I don't like the truck yeah. that I have. I'm mm -hmm. buying. I'm gonna try to trade my own truck. No, oh, the so one you I, just bought. I've got an idea of what they cost. <laughs> the one I just bought. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't like it. So. Oh well. Um, but no, I wanted to run it by the board before I started. Like I said, I know mm. we're in a position. I mean, yeah. we're. We spent a lot of money on a grader, and now mm -hmm. the FEMA stuff, and I don't want to put us into a bad spot, but I also am responsible for the safety of the roads. Right. And I need to have equipment that will run mm -hmm. when I need it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, we got away with the grader and the new truck without borrowing any money, so that's good, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But there's money out there. I wonder if, another thing I didn't ask Ben Rose, but when this money f might start to flow from FEMA. Mm. I'm thinking fiscal year 2020, June. How's that? June, what? 20, June 2024. June? Next wow. Next summer. Next summer. Wow, really? Oof. I'll have to go out for a loan before I mm -hmm. even. I I don't even have enough to pay appropriations. Oh, so. Oh, jeez, really? 
That's bad. Not not the five hundred dollar ones. Oh, the library, the cemetery. Yeah. 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 So huh. I'll be going up for right. long before then. Yeah. Who do we go through for loans? Is it a regular bank or? Yeah. 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 To get good um, interest, interest rates. rates. Oh yeah. yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> really, aren't you attending a seminar? On we are. Next Thursday. Or the sixteenth. Is that the one about? Yes. Budgeting during FEMA times or something like that? For, yes. Yeah, great. <sighs> I well, need, I need yeah. the numbers if you instruct me to. You might as well start shopping. I mean, yeah. we'll be working on our budget probably within the next month. So, okay. <laughs> I don't know what how much it is that, that you have to do besides these reports that you give us, but you usually have a separate well, no, form. I'll zero them out, and we'll write in oh. a new budget. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Once I have our half point. I have a what? Our half point. December is our six months in. Oh. Okay. Well, we're not going to wait until January to do our budget, right? Well, no, it's an estimation. Yeah. It's a yeah okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another another thing to think about is, I know when we're buying, when I used to buy big trucks for Callus, if you leased it or not leased it, but if you took a loan for it, the payment, the first payment, wouldn't come to the following year. Mm-hmm. So that might help us a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're aware of that. Yep, we have had different circumstances. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that would I'll buy us that. a whole year before a payment comes. Uh, so we could it. put it in the next fiscal year since it's not budgeted for this fiscal year. Right. That would be helpful. Do you have to buy a new truck? I mean, aren't there some good used trucks out there? Mm -hmm. or, or I don't um, know. Mm -hmm. I, from my experience, by, for, from looking at my own trucks, a truck for myself, is that they're you're up they're almost the same amount of money mm. Mm. to Jesus. buy to buy something with mm. you know 30 40 50 thousand miles on it and the warranty's gone right yeah. so mm. when you buy new you have a warranty you have mm. zero miles mm -hmm. um, yes i've been looking at a lot of trucks so i it's you know it's fresh on my mind um and that's a possibility, yes. But you, you run the risk of, of buying somebody else's problems. Problem. And, yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll also be running the risk that we got three vehicles that we've breaking down all at the same time since we're buying them all at the same time. Yeah. Which is what happened with the two that we had. Yeah. Right, right. Which is sort of where we are with the two ten wheelers. Right. Bottom two like within the same year. Same year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have any kind of ballpark idea of what this might cost? Um, what I'm seeing is probably around a hundred thousand for a pickup. For that's a pickup with a plow and mm -hmm. a and a new sander mm -hmm. in the back. Now I say pickup, it's just... It's, it's a heavy duty. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, like, like a, a three-quarter ton or a one-ton truck. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, like the truck I drive around is... That's like it's like one. a six... <laughs> is that a six-wheeler? Mm -hmm. Four. Yeah. Just uh, four? No, I mean, you could go with well, it. No, I mean... With yeah. that. No, it would we'll be... Get yeah, it would just be a regular <laughs> yeah. single, yeah. single axle. Uh -huh. um, okay. Not do a wheels. Mm -hmm. But we wouldn't need all the bells and whistles. Like we wouldn't nope. need to have seat warmers or. Absolutely. In fact, I don't want that because it's just a problem down the road. Yeah. You know, more electricity, more, yep. more potential problems. So no, I don't. The truck that I'm looking at is does not have bells and whistles. <laughs> I don't. I don't need it. You know, it is nice to have the electric window for the passenger. Mm -hmm. If you pull up to somebody, you like to be able to roll the window down and talk mm -hmm. to them or whatever. But yeah. heated seats, mm -hmm. electric mirrors, mm -hmm. I don't yeah. need that, you know. 
Sometimes you don't have a choice, though. So. Backup camera. Backup cam I think they come pretty standard now yeah. with, the, with the backup mm -hmm. cameras. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of that stuff is just standard yeah. equipment, mm -hmm. you know, without the extra. Mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. Trucks have changed so much uh, mm -hmm. as far as purchasing them. They're just they're adding more and more to it. So mm -hmm. I will get I'll get some numbers for that. Well, I'm leaving, and I am just totally amazed at how much work you all do. I am just like, what you did or what you're doing is like, I hope you don't have to come to a home. <laughs> 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 I hope you go home. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. Yeah, good luck to you all. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh. I'll take care of you. <laughs> what did she say? Because she doesn't want Skip to have to go into a home. Oh, <laughs> into a home. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> so, okay, where were we? Fire alarm system. Have you heard from that guy anymore? Uh, I did have one more question for okay. you, Rafi. I just wondered, the top of Old Quarry Road, did that ever get soft to any kind of... They no. have not moved their stuff. Nothing's moved. So yeah. you guys weren't able to finish the work going through no. there. No, okay. Yeah. And yeah. it's a little late now I in the year. Yeah. I think we should just decide we're not going to do that. Sure. At this yeah. point. You know, I was thinking about that too. Okay. You know, it's, I don't know. What, what does it matter? I was going up Cabot Road the other Prison. night. It was dark out. Yeah. And that car was parked almost in the travel oh, portion man. of the road yeah. with their high beams on. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking about the other one on the other side that's kind of a snowmobile trail. Yeah, down in, uh, you know, but like Brian said, it is, it is a setting of presence. Mm -hmm. we gotta, we've got to protect our right away mm -hmm. or that we're going to just keep running into this all over mm -hmm. town. Mm -hmm. I've seen it starting in some other places. You've yeah. probably seen it too. Mm -hmm. Um, I've seen them yeah. over on, uh, what's that road you live on, Skip? Lake Hill. Lake mm -hmm. Hill. That guy has carved himself out a little parking space down out of the oh. town right it's away. on the road that should not <laughs> be. It's yeah. a like road path road as it is. Literally it's on tight. the road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Having two cars go by, let alone a park yeah. car. Yeah. Just but they, they have sufficient room. They park their cars sometimes up in their driveway. Would it be nice so, if they use their driveway? Yeah, sometimes. sometimes. All the time. <laughs> yeah. I'm but, sure in the winter time they'll do. They'll park up there. Yeah, but he's carved it. He's, he's made himself a little cloudy. Are they cloudy. Still, they're still doing construction, right? They still got machines there. No, they're done. They're, they're done. done. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's another that thing. Next time we see. Yeah. 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 They built that without a permit. Right. Have been even yeah, they said they, said they weren't going to live there. They said they oh, no. a shed and a garage. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. <coughs> so, waiting for something from our attorney. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Which he billed us for, but I haven't got anything yet. Oh, no. Don't send him the check. <laughs> oh God, we did approve it though. Okay, uh, so okay, you okay? With yeah, I'm good. Um, so I don't have a whole lot. The last email chain that came through about the fire alarm. Mm -hmm. um, Rusty had wondered about. I don't know the term. I'm gonna screw it up. Um, it's a purchasing thing. I had asked you and Diana in the email. Yeah. Um, it's like a when he wants to know if it was a tax, yeah, something, it's, it's some form, town, a tax accept number. Yeah. Or so I had kind of shot that back to both of you guys, thinking that you would be familiar with yeah. whether there's they a have form those or. Brandian, Robin, they have the numbers. Me? Oh, you okay? Yeah. And I don't yeah. know if you were on that email chain, so it maybe mm. didn't make its way to the right person. So um, I can bounce you our EIN number. Okay. That'd be. Is it just a number? There's not a form or anything. There is a. There is a. Okay. Yeah. And I can scan that and send it. Okay, that'd be awesome. Um, and then the other piece of that is I have asked Rusty now like three times because when we initially started talking, mm -hmm. he said he was going to double check if the quote was still mm -hmm. good, but he had mm -hmm. to check with their estimator mm -hmm. on yeah. the panel. Yeah. Um, and 
I keep asking if he's gotten an answer and I keep not hearing yeah. whether or not okay. he has. So yeah. um, I guess when I come back to him with the EIN number, I will ask yeah. again about that. Yeah. Okay. But they're ready to do the work. So, oh, um, you know. So we did have $12,000 budgeted and he did, a, a, his estimate was ten. Yeah. So it has to, you know, if it has to be more. Right, right. It has to be more. Yeah. I mean, he seemed to think that he said in the original email that the only thing that would have changed significantly was the panel. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how much those go for. I should probably just ask Tim. Well, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a source. I saw an email just recently where he was trying to schedule it to do over vacation. Yeah, yeah. He's talking about scheduling. He just hasn't come back to me with the one thing, the money piece. But, yes. Oh, okay. um, but yeah, they're looking it, yeah. to start, I think, over Thanksgiving vacation. Um, yeah. Is what Somebody asked, do. probably Brochu asked whoever's over here, Monique or whatever, when when would be good times. And th they responded with, you know, the times that the school's going to be closed. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that. So, okay. Uh, okay, so we got the emergency management thing. There the antenna installation taken care of. We do have to have some budget meetings in the near, you know, maybe, I don't know, should we wait until after our next select board meeting or, well, see what Chris has to say, I guess. And I just threw out here if anybody out there cares about our town buildings and wants to contribute some uh, some expertise as either an architect or a person who understands building systems or a contractor who would like to be hired by the town to manage a couple of projects, we would really appreciate it. Hired by the town? Yeah, why not? We got. Uh, I mean, we've spent a lot of money. I don't know. I'm just. Yeah, but we've got money. We've got money coming in for the. Oh, these are just simply FEMA projects. We're talking about. No, well, not necessarily. I mean, we need to know that we won't get any FEMA money for the town hall. But it would be nice. There is money available. It would be, but you know, getting the money is not as much of a problem as getting the work done and the design and doing the right thing and hiring the contractors and things like that because that that program that regional planning commission is offering if they're if they're just talking about helping us get grants you know that's the easy part so <laughs> so if we had somebody um in town who was interested in working on buildings and helping the town that, that would be nice but we're talking about hiring them with money that's Coming from a grant, no, yeah, we not with have tax to, dollars. Yeah, would would depend. You know, all the things that a bunch of different things that have to be done at the town office, and and whether those, I mean, nice to just have something. We used to have people that did that. Mm -hmm. We had Grady, we had Richard Patton, we had Peter Peltz, we had yeah. They did a project plan for this place. Yeah, why? Did, you yeah, there was a whole, the whole bunch of people that yeah. worked on that, yeah. But I can't do a project plan now. No. Because you're too busy circling little things on yes, the FEMA website. For <laughs> <laughs> so this one project, there were 32 questions and 12 documents. Yeah. Yeah. So. But I have that old project plan I can get to mm. see. Mm. So anyways, yeah, I, I just don't know where else to go with that unless we can find somebody. We could actually advertise for somebody to... I feel like... So I don't know that we've really talked about that enough to be at the point of advertising for somebody. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not totally clear on what we actually want to do. I right. have a well, that's, idea. That's, yeah, that's um, true. We don't have a plan. It is. Right. We don't have a plan. I would like to see, like I said before... As far as the town office goes, this is an opportunity to be proactive and not just replace what was there before, but maybe a little better mm -hmm. so that we can have some more office space down in the cellar in case we get a 
reappraisal contractor who needs a place to set up for a while. And, mm -hmm. but, uh, but you can't just, you know, it's more than just replacing the sheetrock. <laughs> it's it's uh, whether or not to put in a new heating system that the engine, that the uh, uh, insurance seems to want to cover and what and how and anyways you, you probably know a lot more than that about than, than I do. I'm not a heating expert <laughs> by any means. Um, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I so think anyway, if we were going to talk about hiring someone though, like we should have a, at least a good understanding of what we're all looking to do. Right? Well. Like on both buildings. <laughs> We need somebody to tell us what we need to do, or okay. give us some ideas of what we should do. You know, but okay. Anyways, yeah, you're probably not ready. I just wanted to throw that out there, so just in case somebody's interested. Uh, most of the we we have any like semi-retired contractor types in town. McCann. What? McCann. I thought of Rick too. <laughs> He's a carpenter. Yeah. yeah. What about the League of Cities and Towns? Do they have anyone in their organization that could do like a, this may be the wrong term, proof of concept? Like conceptualize what you want to do to the town offices mm -hmm. and have them draw up some sort of basic plan? And then you could work with that and say, this is our concept and move forward with. You said the League of Cities and Towns? Yeah. Mm. They may. Mm. Yeah. You know, that's, mm -hmm. that's one place to look. Well, the Regional Planning Commission, too, they keep offering help, but I don't think they have the kind of help we need. We need, need some sort of conceptualized plan. Right. We need an architect is what we need. But yeah. hate to spend half of that money on an architect. That I mean, it so. seems early to talk about an architect. I feel like we should just go in there and... Think about what needs to happen first. <laughs> you know? Well, you know, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. But that's just mm -hmm. my opinion. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, we could do that too. <laughs> What's <laughs> got a new phone? We're watching football. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. My favorite show comes on at 9 o'clock, Main Cabin Masters. <laughs> Maybe they could work on Maybe I'll leave. <laughs> okay, so we, there really isn't any um, anything to report on the reappraisal. I had to put that on the same line as this because I wanted to keep it all on one page. <laughs> so... So John uh, Reed and I have been looking at some information that was provided by the state tax department and when he gets back from his recent trip to take care of grandchildren, we'll get together. Anybody else who wants to participate in that, we'll certainly need more people by the time we get proposals to look at. But as far as requesting proposals, I don't think we need a huge team for that. Shouldn't the listers be involved in that? Yeah. Yeah, they should be doing it. So, yes. Yeah. So tell them. I will. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. They're half and halfway walking out the door now, so. <laughs> uh, but they certainly will have input on who to choose because they know more about that. Anything else? No? Motion to adjourn? <laughs> Want to adjourn? <laughs> That's adjourn. Okay. Adjourn. 802.